what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here. Uh, trying to sound enthusiastic, but <laughs> uh, today's a very sad day. If uh, you're not following uh, what's going on in the collector communities online, uh, if you're not following me on Facebook and stuff, uh, then I'm here to inform you that a friend of mine passed away this morning, Glenn Webman. Um, Glenn Webb passed away this morning due to, uh, it, from what Craig Work said, it was just a sudden death that he had just passed away in his sleep this morning. And uh, Sean Long, I was working on my video review for today, this morning, and I got a text from Sean Long informing me. And I spoke, uh, you know, via private message to Craig. And Craig, as far as I know, Craig knew uh, Glenn best. You know, they worked together on a lot of different projects and stuff and frequented. I mean, they live in the same region and everything. So. Uh, they're very close friends and everything, so I talked to Craig a bit about it and everything, and, and we lost Glenn Webb, man. Uh, I, I, I'm I not a crier. I, I, I just was raised not, I don't know, or whatever, but I just don't, and, and this is, man, this has been a tough day. This sucks so hard. I'm so sad right now. Uh, I was actually, the wife and I were just watching his videos last night. Um, definitely one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. I, I just loved his videos, I loved his reviews. I mean, the guy was an inspiration to me. There's, I steal ideas from everybody, you know. I, I try to, well not everybody, everybody, but, you know, if I see a reviewer out there and I like their reviews, I take from them and their ideas I had taken from, from Glenn. Um, and so he was an inspiration to me. I, I I consider him a colleague, a competitor, and a friend. And he's gone, man. I mean, uh, I was just uh, I was on my phone just looking at this, and um, yeah, man, that's the other sad thing is that he's at he just missed uh, one hundred thousand subscribers. He just. He had, uh, when I just checked, he had, I think, like, 99,960 subscribers. He didn't get to see him, he didn't get to see his channel hit the 100,000 subscriber mark. That's what my wife is just texting me about right now. But I just, I just started gushing when I started going through the old messages that I had talking to Glenn. I've been talking to Glenn since 2012, and, uh, it's, I mean, I'm not showing you all of our conversations, but this is just a long period of time of Glenn and I just talking to each other, wishing each other happy holidays, just chatting it up. And he, it's a couple, he's done, man. So, that that's it, man. You never know when it's your time to go. And my condolences to his family. Um, Craig, uh, Glenn, see, there's not that many action figure reviewers out there that are on a... Uh, that, that that I could really talk to, you know, and 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 him and I had good communication with each other, and he had questions about things, or something, or if I had questions about things, like we would just like kind of just go to each other, just you know, for advice, because it's a crazy existence reviewing toys like for a living, and there's not that many people that do it, and we lost one today, and I'm just absolutely devastated by it. I'm crushed. I just love his, his personality, he's just really fun, a little bit on the stubborn side, I think, you know, um, not not in a bad way, though, you know, not in a bad way, it's just that there's things that I would, like, things that I felt worked out for me, I wanted, uh, I wanted to have share with him, you know, the workout with him, like, I told him, like, a while ago, a long time ago, I was like, dude, like, dude, Big Bad Toy Store is really good to work with, man, like, if, like, they help out a lot. They're a good company. Like, if you want to work with them, man, I could, you know, I could talk to Joel from Big Bad Toy Store, try to get you set up. He's like, no, no, I'm good. I don't need that. I'm like, are you sure, man? Like, it's, you know, I'm telling you, it's a good thing. He's like, nah, 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 nah. It's not for me. It's not for me. And, you know, he's stuck by his moral code. What, what he felt, you know, wasn't good for him. He didn't want to do it, you know? Or, uh, he, he had started a Patreon for his podcast, but I told him that... Was, uh, and this was maybe about a year ago or less, you know, I was like, dude, if you, if you start a Patreon account, dude, I think you do really well. People love your videos. I love your videos. If you make a Patreon account, I will be one of your supporters. I really love your work. 
he's like, oh, that mean, you know, he's like, oh, that's very kind to you, bud, and everything. But and he's like, nah, it's not, you know, I don't think that many people are going to support it, and I don't, I don't want to go through the hassle of it and whatnot. So, um, so you know, that's like, so we talk to each other professionally, and you know, and and, and share ideas on different things, and talk about his podcast and stuff and I wanted to be a guest on his podcast and he was down for me to be on the podcast but just setting it up so that we're you know the voice would come through uh you know the technical difficulties of it you know so I I'm sad that you know I never got to do that I never got to like I never got to see him face to face either and I'm plan I'm planning on going to San Diego or New York Comic Con this year and he was planning on going to uh, New York Comic Con this year, so I was hoping to meet him in New York this year, and it's not going to happen. So um, I'm still going to try to go to New York Comic Con. I'm still going to try to put money aside to make that trip happen. But um, yeah, man, this is this is devastating. So I wanted I wanted him to have a Patreon account because I really liked his video so much, and it's like I you know my whole thing is like I feel like you should put your money where your mouth is. Like if you really like somebody's uh, content enough and you're, you're talking about how you like someone's content enough you know there's then you know you should do what you're asking others to. Ah, I'm a patron to Sean Long's Patreon account you know so um, the closest thing I can get to it now is um, luckily um, gentleman Ryan Faraday started a GoFundMe for Glenn's family uh, Craig Works email is attached to it so that he is uh, so that he he's the beneficiary of the GoFundMe account, so it would go to Craig Work, which would go to Glenn's family and everything, and, Glenn, and Craig's all for it and stuff. So I contributed over there at the GoFundMe. Um, if if you want to help his family out, I don't know if he had debt, but if he did have any debt, that would go on to the family. So essentially, we we would be contributing to all those. Uh, <sighs> Uh, all the action figure evolutions and and uh, and and all those confessions of an eBay holic, you know, like if he was like if he actually, it, I nobody told me that he was in debt, but if he was in debt because of those videos and stuff, I definitely feel like responsible that I should or not responsible, but totally feel happy about contributing to that because I love those videos. He did such a great job, man. It's such he put so much effort into those things so much good content dude it, it's, it's I haven't been this hurt um, from losing another youtuber since Luthug this is like really hard this is I haven't been able to stop thinking about it it is just so sad I'm going back and reading all these conversations that I had with him it's it, it is just devastating so if you want to, you know, try to help his family out, I don't even know what they're going through, man. And remember, live every day to its fullest. Like, really, do all the shit you want to do, man. Not unless you're hurt, unless you want to hurt people, then don't do that shit. But you know, all the shit that doesn't hurt other people, do the shit that you want to do, man. You know, because you just don't know. He fucking died in his sleep. And there's a positive side to everything. At least there's that. At least he just died in his sleep. And I watched his last video, and it was. And he seemed just perfectly healthy. My wife and I were watching his videos last night. I mean, God, man, it, there's just like no sign it was gonna happen. So, you know, for somebody that you don't want to see go through a lot of pain on their way out, luckily, we didn't have to see Glenn through go through a lot of pain or anything. I've watched two people die from cancer and it's like a year of torture until they're until they're finally gone and it's terrible so thank god that he didn't have to go through that but man i i already missed the guy I, i'm just tr i am truly devastated man and when i got the news i had construction workers on our house because we'd just gotten these free solar panels installed and all this and so it's like i i just like just holding it in but eventually you know the tears just came out but and i feel like uh, oh, i'm probably already crying or uh, anyway all right well enough said check out the gofundme link in the description below and uh this is not a monetized video for anybody that's thinking i'm trying to make a buck on the death of a friend all right so um check it out man nothing else to say 
we're this is a sad day for all of us, and we're we're gonna miss you, Glenn. Shit. All right. Bye.